I'm just saying, ladies, if you're in a relationship, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Y'all can't keep talking shit about men. Make up your mind. You either with us or you ain't. I'm getting tired of women walking around talking shit, talking about fuck niggas. Niggas ain't shit. Well, bitch, you need to either get you a girlfriend or shut the fuck up and join the goddamn game. Shit. It's your relationship, ladies. It's your relationship. Some of y'all are being greedy. Some of y'all out there looking for 100% good nigga. And let me just tell you, I had a meeting with all these niggas in attendance tonight, and we, we established there is no such a nigga. So stop looking for the motherfucker. And if we did have that nigga, he wouldn't want your motherfucking ass. He'd be looking for 100%. Ain't no perfect people, ladies, and sometimes you set the sights too high and don't give niggas no credit. Some of y'all done had 98% good niggas, 98%, and you got rid of them niggas for two fucking percent. 98% good. Niggas went to work, made a check, brought it back, shared it with you, put gas in the car, didn't beat on you, took care of your kids better than his own kids. He can't even see his kids. He rubbing your son's hair and putting his backpack on in the mornings. You done got rid of that nigga for 2%. Now, right now, you sitting in here with a 71% nigga, hoping he upgrade. Look at you, can't even clap, because he looking. You know? <laughs> Just saying, ladies, you gotta be happy. How the fuck you gonna have a 98% good nigga, and you got rid of that nigga for 2%, cause he cheated on you, a little funky 2%. You, oh, what, it's different now? Ladies like, nigga, that's a big two, nigga, what the fuck? The fellas is with me, please make this work, nigga. Please, please. I don't know what you gonna do, nigga. Please. Just gotta understand, ladies, shit is complicated. Part of your responsibility in a relationship is making sure your man don't cheat. Help the nigga out. You know niggas lose focus. We easy to lose focus. We just wanna work and play and fucking eat and not necessarily in that order, because if a nigga can fuck, we ain't even hungry. We just, mm-mm, I ate yesterday, I'm good. Just give a nigga a tic-tac or something, just. Ladies, it's time to do some new shit. If you're in a relationship and you want to keep the relationship, you got to do certain things to keep raggedy bitches off your man. You are at war with raggedy bitches, because if you don't suck your man's dick, I know a raggedy bitch who will. Now, I'm telling you, if you want your relationship, ladies, However much dick you are sucking, suck twice that amount and see if it does not change your relationship. Look at the fellas, yes, nigga, yes. What a resolution, yes, I am behind that. Ladies, ladies, I, I, look, I see how y'all looking at me, look. Look, let me say this before I even start. Ladies, if you have made a conscientious decision that you are not gonna suck any dick, that is your right as an American citizen. Let me say it again. If you have made a conscientious decision that you are not going to suck any dick, that is your right as an American citizen. Now, I will say it don't look good on your resume <laughs> when you need some shit done around the house. I will say that. Ladies, your job is to keep your man, keep him focused on you. And I think, ladies, if you would just suck a little more dick, I think you don't understand how powerful it is. Just, we go, I'm going to give you some homework. You try it. I won't even be there and see how it works. Next time your man come in arguing and cussing and shit, just suck that nigga dick in the middle of the argument and see how quickly the argument ends. I don't give a fuck what he mad about. Just, this is a bullshit and I'm tired of this guy. Mm, shit. I don't even know what I be hollering at you for. You ain't never done nothing. You know them niggas at the job be stressing the nigga out and shit. And yeah, I come in here blaming it on you and shit. We love getting our dick sucked in the car. If you gonna suck our dick, we get excited as soon as you touch the seatbelt. We just... Start moving shit out the middle and took the radio out. If you suck our dick in the car, we'll drive 500 miles in the most awkward position ever. Just... The same ladies. You knew how powerful it was. You, I, you have to do it. I, look, ladies, let's just try something out. Just tonight after the show, just suck your niggas dick in the car on the way to the house and see. Look at the fellas, yes. Shimmer and I are. Just try it, ladies, and see if your relationship don't change in the morning. Just see. When you wake up, that nigga gonna be fully dressed with a hammer. Just how you doing, baby, you okay? I built you a porch right by the bed because the driveway right there in the bathroom. Just take a bath and... 
tell you, ladies, I know some of y'all ladies don't like doing it. You think head lacks the intimacy and then you miss the bond and shit. Some ladies don't like it psychologically. They don't like having to do this to a nigga. Get on their knees in front of a nigga. They just called a dirty son of a bitch 45 minutes ago. <laughs> ladies, if that's your problem, tell that to your man. See if that nigga don't try to help the relationship and pull a step ladder right in the middle of the living room. Just... Oh, that's much better. Look at that. You got your posture all up and shit. I appreciate that. Just saying, ladies. Some of y'all just don't understand what it do for us. Like, some of y'all ladies think it's a pussy replacement. Here, ain't no pussy replacement. I think I speak for all real niggas when I say there's no such thing as a pussy replacement. Pussy is at the top of the list. But head is important, too. See, pussy is like an oven in the kitchen. It's the best shit ever. You put a ham in it and some biscuits and some vegetables, and in an hour and 35 minutes, you have a home-cooked meal. Everybody want a home-cooked meal. But head is like a microwave. <laughs> Sometimes a nigga ain't got an hour and 35 minutes to be fucking with your ass. Sometimes a nigga need a hot pocket right now, bitch. Just bing, thank you. 30 seconds, bing, thank you. Just say it, ladies. If you don't suck your man's dick, there's a raggedy bitch who will, and we got the bitch's number. Handle your motherfucking business. saying we gotta life is crazy work on yourself stop worrying so much about what people think about you and figure out what the fuck you think about you that's the most important shit ladies ladies you can learn that from niggas as niggas we get over ourselves quick like if a nigga got a flaw especially if it's physical we get over it quick like at 13 we get past the shit like nigga i think i got a big nose <laughs> yep it's a big nose that's it Ladies, y'all be worried about it, trying to change who the fuck you are. Don't be doing that shit. It's, you gotta be happy about whoever the fuck you are. If you a big woman, just be a big, fly-ass, fine-ass, rich woman and let that be it. Stop trying to be a skinny bitch all your life. It may not be for you. You don't believe me, look at Star Jones' motherfucking ass. She did the surgery to lose all the weight. They didn't tell her they couldn't take the fat out of her motherfucking head. So now she walking around with a Rottweiler head on the Doberman Pinscher body trying to be cute. That bitch fell off the view. <laughs> Should have been fucking happy. Life too short for you to be that hard on your motherfucking self. If you fucking with me, I'm gonna make you feel good about it. I don't give a fuck you got stretch marks. I'm gonna tell you why I'm fucking you how much I like it. Just don't you even worry about that, baby. You look like a tiger. I love tigers, I really do. That's why I be growling at you sometimes. Just rawr. Show them you're a tiger. Show them what you can do. They're great! <laughs> Just saying, ladies. Gotta work. Niggas, we got so much work to fucking do. It ain't even fun. Shut up, ladies. <laughs> Motherfucker couldn't wait. Yep, it's their turn. It